I've waited for this moment so long, so now it's time to do it. I have come to the cradle of Italian motorsport just outside of Milan to see the future of e-mobility, or better, to feel it. Because I'm a real biker, I obviously love the sound that motorbikes make, the thrill of the engine and the smell of the gas. The guys of Two Electrons say they developed an e-bike which is just as good as my BMW. So in the name of green mobility, I'm willing to give it a go. Before we start, let me give you an idea of what Emula does. The Emula is naturally silent because it's still an e-bike, but they have given it speakers, vibration units and a subwoofer. And in the future, they even plan to put the sound just in your helmet so no one else is going to be disturbed by the sound of a motorbike. And a lot of different modis so you can actually have a lot of motorbikes in just one. Check it out, comment below and please subscribe on Rev if you would like to see more like this. The Emula motorcycle is a fusion of gaming, motorbike and EV technology. The key component is the McFly Core, an innovative system that emulates the sound and feel of a combustion engine. Two electrons call it the emotion changer. And lucky me, I'm the first reporter to test drive it, a REV exclusive. Wow, that was pretty sweet. This is probably the best thing I've ever tried. It really feels like motorbiking. Like everything just feels like it. This is unbelievable. You really have to try this out. Oh my God, I have no comment left. I have to talk to the people who came up with this. Hello. Finally meeting the people that came up with this great idea. Oh my God. Hello, Julia. I'm Julia. Hello, Julia. Hey. Hello. So what is so special about Emula? We have uh, two different mods. The, the basic AV, we call it uh, boring mod. <laughs> It actually stands in the boring mode. <laughs> exactly. There is a direct transmission and uh, no sound. It's like as a normal EV. And uh, the, the main feature that is the McFly with the three different uh, engines at the moment, a 600 four-cylinder. A two-stroke 250. There is also the e stroke the new e stroke that is a complete new, new engine. The sound of the future. Exactly. So with them, well, we have uh, um, uh, electric motor with a direct transmission to the wheel. So we have uh, no gearbox, we emulated them. Managing the torque request uh, at the, the re regenerative braking, uh, we use our software to emulate uh, power band, uh, uh, torque curve, uh, number of gear, everything. So we can uh, select uh, the, the engine that, uh, that you want to, to ride and just ride. If you want, you can uh, use the clutch also. Yeah. The, the feedback is exactly the same. Uh, so use your left half of the body. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's the first uh, EV with, uh, when you use the, the left side of your body. Yeah, I could tell on the, on the track. It was good to have it. I'll show you the vibration with the two-cylinder engine. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. We have two different uh, sound on the bike. In the, in the front we have the mechanical part, the air intake system, everything, and the exhaust in the rear. For example, you can, you can hear when I engage the, the gear. Only in the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Just like normal. Exactly. So despite the clutch and the oil tank, which the bike would not need, it has it, why? 
We use uh, the digital information of the clutch to our controller, but for the mechanical feedback, uh, we use, uh, we use an, an hardware, so we need uh, the oil tank. We have a lot of, from the sound to the vibration, uh, the clutch, the, the gearbox emulated, the, the possibility to switch to uh, different uh, engines, and we, we bring the human experience to a level never reached before. The McFly technology emulates the performance and gear ratios of a conventional bike while generating the power band, sound and even vibrations. The Emula has a top speed of 250 km an hour. The market is so curious about our technology because it solved one of the problems of EV, missing of emotion, missing of engine soul. But it's just the beginning. Uh, we don't want just to emulate the endothermic engine. We believe that the user experience is the basis of motorcycle riding. You need to have fun, you need to have motion, you need to change gear, you need to see vibration, you, you need to have uh, immersive sensation. With one bike, I can ride one, ten, one thousand engine in one. You can switch from one package to one other just with one swipe. Automatic gear shifting, launch control, big fire, just typing on the dashboard in real time, not during driving when you stop. You can change the configuration. You can increase and decrease the volume. You can pass the, the sound from the bike to the helmet. You can do everything. Our purpose is e-mobility with zero emission with full range of emotion. Can I use your tech to design my own bike experience? Oh yes, Julia. Sit down with me and we design your dream bike for you. Yes! <laughs> for now, 2 Electron doesn't intend to make the Emula a production model. The plan is to sell the technology to a major manufacturer. And considering the possibilities of the McFly technology, it may only be a matter of time before we see this kind of system on an electric superbike. This driving experience was a real eye-opener. The engineers of Emula from 2 Electron created a great piece of work. They emulated the sound and even the performance characteristics of combustion engine. And even in boring mode, this was perfect fun. I can't wait to have more of this. Not just for me, but also for everyone out there who loves riding a motorbike. It's more than just a means of transportation. It's an attitude towards life, so we don't want to miss on that. So Emula could be the perfect solution for this problem. McFly is also being fitted to EVs like the Alfa Romeo Giulia GT Electric. So you can get a bus from e-bikes? Let me know in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe to REV if you want more content like this. Thank you very much. This is Julia.